For the sub-xiphoid conversion approach, you want to identify the xiphoid process. You want to create a pericardial window so that you can actually create access to that posterior left atrium and have a nice shallow angle. Some physicians will remove the xiphoid process to make that access easier. You want to make sure that the pericardial window is created just above the bifurcation between the pericardium and the diaphragm, giving you a nice shallow angle to that posterior left atrium. That allows you to insert the cannula and be able to create that space so you can visualize the different structures such as the IVC, the right inferior pulmonary vein, the right superior pulmonary vein, the left inferior pulmonary vein. The superior pulmonary veins a lot of times will not be directly visible, but sometimes if you can get up as high as possible, you can see that. You want to appreciate the ablation device before you insert it through the cannula so that you can actually access it and advance it, deflect it off the pericardium up as high as possible to approach those posterior pericardial reflections along that roof of the left atrium. You're going to create a series of lesions with the ablation device distally and proximally so you're ablating as much of the posterior left atrium as possible. You won't have just a single row, you'll have, typically have two rows or even more to make sure you're ablating as much of the posterior left atrium as the physician wants to. You're going to go in and create the posterior ablation from the right pulmonary veins to the left pulmonary veins, making sure that you're happy with the lesions. You can vi directly visualize the lesions to make sure that they intersect. But afterwards, what you typically will utilize is the sensing function of the Episense device to make sure that you don't have any signals. If you do have any signals, you're going to want to go out there and repeat the ablation to make sure you've fully isolated and silenced that entire posterior left atrium. After you create all your incisions, you're going to remove the device, remove the cannula, and you're going to basically go in and close your incisions.